Here we have seven tens and two units, so we have seventy-two. If we had a hundred, now we have one hundred and seventy-two. Here we have eight units. If we had a hundred, now we have one hundred and eight, and that zero is very important because it tells us that we have zero tens. We couldn't just write the digits one eight because that would be the number eighteen, which is of course a lot smaller than the number one hundred and eight. Here we have one ten and four units, so we have fourteen. What is one hundred more than fourteen? If we add a hundred, now we have one hundred and fourteen. What is ninety-eight plus a hundred? So we have nine tens. And eight units, so we have ninety-eight. If we add a hundred, now we have one hundred and ninety-eight. And what is three plus a hundred? We have three units. If we add one hundred, we now have one hundred. Still no tens. And three units, so we have one hundred and three, which we write one zero three.